Hi there, this is Doug Fink and I'm going to walk through some D3, C3 graphing capabilities. I've hooked it up to PowerShell and I wanted to show you what you can do. So the first thing you need to do is bring in the module or actually the script that has some of the capabilities and let's uh, talk through some potential scenarios. For example, what I'd like to do is get all the processes on my system and I want to group them by company. So I can do that by running this and I can see that there's 43 processes running from Microsoft, two from TechSmith and so on and so forth. So now if I want I want to look at some data so in the group is actually all the processes that belong to Microsoft or TechSmith so I will Type that to show chart and the property name that I want to see based on the group data is I want to see the physical memory. So let's run that. And you see we get a nice little donut chart. And as I mouse over, I can find out TechSmith has 9.2% of the physical memory on my machine. I can go a few steps further. For example, I can say where which is built-in PowerShell concepts. Company, and I want to do a match, which is a regex on NVIDIA and micro, and I can say Twitter, and I can say TechSmith. So now if I run this, we'll see another chart pop up with just those. And out of that, of course, Microsoft is taking 71%, TechSmith 11. Let's take that a step further. I have a PowerShell script here called sales and all it is it's showing the region the item that was sold how many units the cost per unit and the total again I want to group that by region there we go and I now want to take that and pipe it to show chart. Inside, I want to look at the unit sold. That simple. And now I can see who sold, who has the most units sold. Kicking that up a notch, what I want to do next is I can also specify the chart type. And here's the different chart types currently available. So if I want to see a spline, I can run that again and that's a spline chart of the same data. I can see an area chart and I can see a bar chart. What's interesting too is that each one of these are contained HTML file because what show chart does is actually generates an HTML snippet, it brings in the appropriate JavaScript and then it applies the data inside the uh, HTML file so that it can be charted. Each one of these are saved as a snapshot. So you can actually put these up on a server and then have people view them um, in terms of static data of anything you'd like. And this is just the beginning. Uh, more to come later. I want to thank you for watching.